Hello and welcome to the United Stand. We're back. It's our Manchester United Transfer News Daily. And uh, welcome back every single morning, Monday to Friday, all the way through from May to August. And we're starting off with Jose Mourinho's big Manchester United transfer shock. Um, some people may be shocked enough by the fact that he's going to sign Fellaini, but enough of that. We've discussed that enough. Um, the big shock is that Manchester United are still considered to be a likely uh, destination for Antoine Griezmann, which really just surprised me. But if, uh, there's, a, there's a few papers, I saw it in the Express, I've seen it somewhere else as well, that they, they, they basically have listed their top five uh, signings for Manchester United this summer. And Griezmann's featuring in the top three of those five. I wouldn't personally have him anywhere there. I've got two tips that I'm going to give you in a moment. But Griezmann to Manchester United, I mean, it's interesting. It's definitely an interesting one. I mean, what are your thoughts? What are the chances of Griezmann coming to Manchester United in your opinion? My thoughts are that that ship sailed as soon as we gave the number seven to Sanchez because Griezmann loves the number seven shirt. Um, he looks like he's going to be going to Barcelona. But if he doesn't go to Barcelona, then may, may, maybe the number seven is a smokescreen. Maybe he would come to Manchester United and wear a different shirt. I think what it would mean is, and nobody's ever spoken about this, if we signed Griezmann, I think that would be the end, that would be the, the Martial replacement. And do I want a Manchester United front three of Lukaku, Griezmann and Sanchez? As brilliant as that absolutely sounds, you've not got the expos explosive pace and flair in any of those three players Sanchez and Griezmann are quick, but they're not explosively quick and they don't really run at people. And I think with Rashford and Martial, you get that. So I don't think it's going to happen, but one to bear in mind. Giorgino, his agent has come out. The uh, Giorgino plays for Napoli midfielder, Italian with Brazilian origins. Uh, if you saw him playing against England in the last international break, likes to pop, a, pop the ball around quickly, gets himself around, can sort of do that Carrick role, but move a bit forward. But he likes to take the ball off the back four. Manchester City would suit him perfectly and, and he did come out and say he wants to play at a team that befits the way he plays, which is quick pressing football and moving to the ball. Not United then, but United are linked to him and his agent has said that there's a number of clubs after him. Rodrigo, you're probably thinking, who is he? Well, he's a 17-year-old next Neymar. Remember, we used to get the next Messi from Argentina. We now get, regularly, we get the next Neymar from Brazil. So he's 17 years of age. He sort of burst on the scene, scored on his debut, scored a couple of goals. Liverpool have apparently been tracking him for a year. Manchester United and Barcelona interested as well. Just to bear in mind the name, Rodrigo Santos, 17-year-old could be the next big thing from Brazil. It would be nice if United got hold of one of the next big things from Brazil, because we never ever seem to. We were linked to Gabriel Jesus and we never got him. And um, there has been others. But uh, one to bear in mind, sports mole the source for that. So, you know, we, we're going we're, we're gonna to be linked to everybody. We'll be linked to Mad Marcus. So, you know, Manchester United will be linked to everybody. But um, definitely one to, to bear in mind. My two, well, Darmian first. Now, Darmian by Tuto Sports have been, is apparently going to sign for Juventus after the FA Cup final, which um, my understanding with, and I should have, I should know this, and if somebody in the live comments, oh, sorry, not the live comments, in the comments below can let us know officially when English Premier League clubs can start signing people, because there's a lot of confusion around this. I believe the transfer deadline finishes on August the 12th, which I think is the first day of the Premier League. But I'm not 100% sure when it opens because I read something about the 16th of May, which would be before the FA Cup final. So I believe it must be after the FA Cup final. And then English Premier League clubs can announce signings. I mean, it used to be you can announce them in June, but the July the 1st. So interested to know, but Darmian to Juventus. And I, I think Darmian is destined to go back to Italy. I would put good money on him going back to Italy. If it's going to be Juventus, then that's quite interesting, which I'll speak about in a minute. But... He is going to go back to Italy. Another another Italian defend, defender where the Premier League's not worked out. I can't think of one who's actually ever done well in the Premier League, Italian defender-wise. So, Darmian, you know, he's, he needs to move on. Let's be blunt and let's not dwell any further on that. Um, the players that I think Manchester United might... Well, not might. If I'm asked right now who I think Manchester United are going to sign this summer... Um, and this was before the Brazilian comment from Mourinho that he wants a Brazilian and every team should have a Brazilian. I think Fred, Shakhtar the next, Alexandro, left back at Juventus. They're the two that I think, that, and they could be the only two. I mean, that develops the point. Left back and a midfielder, that develops the point perfectly because we've heard from Mourinho about if Man City big spend big, it's going to be very hard for us to close the gap. 
Um, he also said, I think in January, he's only going to make three signings. And then he sort of said Alexis Sanchez signing could bring that down to two, which is quite interesting because if there are any two signings to be made, I my guess would be a left back and a midfielder. I fully expect Luke Shaw to move on and we know Carrick's going to retire. So they would be two positions to fill. I think Ashley Young's so old and unreliable at the back that you may as well go and sign a decent left back and a midfielder needs to be a midfielder that we can actually use. Um, Fellaini staying in my mind, means we'll only sign one midfielder now, which is another reason it's a bit of a shame because I think United need real real major restructure in the midfield and I would like to have seen two options. You sign one player and he flops, it's a concern. You sign two midfielders, one of them might work out. So I think Fred from Shaq to the next is, is probably what he's going to look at from a midfield option and Alexandre from Juventus would fit perfectly at Manchester United and he's around the age group that Mourinho really likes. Are we going to sign more than two players? Well, I actually think we will, but I wouldn't be shocked if we did only sign two. I think Manchester United, as I said on the show last night, my expectations are lowered around Manchester United. And people will take that as a negative thing, but they're lowered because through realism. Manchester City have dominated, annihilated this Premier League season. They're not going to change much next year. I hope, I hope that teams will look at United and Liverpool and what they've done to City in the Premier League, but that's been a drop in the ocean in relation to this season. And I hope that some teams will look at that and, and use that as a template to deal with Man City next season. But I still think City have got to be big, big favourites. United need a massive transfer window. And by massive, I mean every player they sign has got to hit the ground running. Three players, hopefully four, but three definitely. So they've got to get all their signings right. And then everybody from this season has got to go up a level. And I think that's a big, big ask for Manchester United. So my expectations for next season aren't that we're going to win the title, although I hope that we do. But in that, I don't think Mourinho, the board, or anyone at Manchester United really thinks a left back and a midfielder is enough for Manchester United next season. We've got problems with consistency. And the only way to deal with consistency is to bring competition and better players in to boost the consistency of other people. So at the moment, Alexis Sanchez, Lukaku, Pogba, they pretty much know they're going to get picked every week. There needs to be some competition there. And, and, I, and that's where I think Mourinho might shock people as well. I don't think Griezmann's going to be the shock. I think we might bring in a couple of players that people weren't expecting. And let's not forget, if Anthony Martial leaves Manchester United, we will see an attacker coming in. And my tip would probably be Gareth Bale. Um, whatever anybody thinks about that, Personally, I still think he's one of the best players in the world on his day. I think his fitness record is a big, big concern. But I would be thinking, can we not do a can we not do a loan deal with Gareth Bale? Can we not do a loan deal? Anyway, this is the first show. Uh, we are going to be doing this every morning at 7 a.m. So get your notifications on, subscribe to the channel, click that bell, get involved. But also, what we want to see in the comments is what we saw in the January transfer window, what we saw last summer as well. Is your thoughts on everything we've mentioned, and also. Your opinion is as important as any paper, as mine, as anybody else's. Nobody knows who we're going to sign this summer. I think Sandra and Fred, you might speak to somebody else. So get in the comments below. Give us your thoughts, where you think we will strengthen, where you think we should strengthen, and what sort of players. Because what you'll get in the live comments, in the comments below, sorry, is real, real, brilliant opinion about players that you may not have considered. And uh, there's certainly a few out there. But I think United and Italy is the area to keep your eye on this summer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Short and sharp every morning, 7 a.m. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy the transfer daily and make sure that when you're getting up, it's your first port of call on the train, on the way to school, whatever. Thanks everyone for watching. Speak to you all later and uh, get commenting below.